What's up YouTube? I hope you're all doing well. It's Cornish Ratbeard here bringing you another video of 7 Days to Die. Welcome to our 14th day horde night. I'm hoping it's going to be a blast and that we're going to have loads of fun. So the reason we are still early on in the day is because I want to show any new viewers or help any beginners out there that are looking for an easy solution to a horde base that's totally doable by day 7. For all of you viewers which have been following my series and know what this base is about anyway, please do skip this part and just head on straight up to the Horde Knight. So here it is. This is my base from the outside looking at it. Um, it might look a little flimsy and easy to knock down, but as a matter of fact, it's, it's pretty tough. And I want to show you guys how or why that is, um, the, especially the beginners. So these posts here that are holding this base up that's not one block now i want to show you what they are they are basically four blocks and what you do is you get hold of your wood frame blocks and you stick them on your belt and you just hold r until you get this menu pop up click on shape and all i did was change them all into wood poles not the centered ones the wood poles so here they are once they've been changed into those you've got to have those frames first and to make the four it's simply just plonk them down like so and then you rotate and stick them next to each other as you can see that's two strength now and all four of them so you do that all the way up to the top as high as you want to go and they become as strong as four blocks but essentially one leg so as you go through I mean this held up really really well for the seventh day and it will do for the 14th day which is which is what's going to follow this little video here um, but the longer it goes on it is completely upgradable in my opinion and I really do advise building something as simple as this I built this in probably a day ready for the seventh day horde it would have held up with wood but I think I did upgrade it to cobblestone but as you go on through the days through the weeks as it gets tougher you can upgrade this then to cement to metal you could also what I'm planning on doing is sticking some shotgun turrets and machine gun turrets and stuff on platforms all underneath with hatches so I'm able to uh, fire upon the zombies and reload from up above without them being damaged also guys take note what I actually built the uh, base on so the foundations itself it's just the road that was already here obviously so again you can find your yourself a nice little base location like this and just start building up from the road you've already got pretty solid foundations on it's really straight already so there's another good tip for you also there's other places like tennis courts and things like that that you can find playgrounds they're pretty good as well but it's much easier to find a pretty decent road which is really close by to your spawn point as well as a trader which is pretty much next door so it's a simple way in. I've just done a catwalk from another building where I had my first sort of supply base. Um, you could make the jump easily or if you wasn't confident on the jump, you could just put a couple of blocks down and get rid of those on the beginning of the horde night. So here we are inside. We've got room that will go around the outside for any reasons whatsoever. Um, our hatches work perfectly. You can just throw stuff down on upon the zombies, just throw whatever you want pipe bombs um, I've got this little area here which goes up to the top again you can expand on this you could uh, build a second base up here and take any of the vultures out if need be the hatch over this side and yeah we just shoot down onto the zombies from above while they're banging on these walls these pillars which is going to take them an awful long time to get through. Now, I wanted the game to be as authentic as possible. I want it to I don't want to exploit the game. I know you can get all those other bases where you can have I don't know, a ramp and missing blocks or whatnot where and, and robotic sledges which just knock off the zombies and and you just keep shooting at them, but I wanted a, a feel what the game is like unexploited as such it's, it's not you know what i mean so um this is about as unexploited and as safe as you're going to get early game i think anyway and you can really have fun with the game that way so you can feel you're under attack properly you're under siege zombies can 
uh damage your base uh, but it would take them a long time you know especially with those those four strength pillars there it really is really strong but you get the feel for the game as well so i'm going to show you the, the 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 bottom of the base as well where where i actually have all my um equipment this is one of my ways into the base again it's all expandable it's just off the base here you can completely upgrade this it's just a long long tunnel all the way down close that up so in we go through into the underground so we are underneath my horde base now so remember above us quite a long way up above us is our spikes so this is screamer proof in my opinion as well We've got all our forges, and above is all those spikes. Now, if any screamers come looking for these forges, they're going to walk into the spikes above and kill themselves um, before they get to scream. And it's up to you if you hear them, you want to go up there and take them out or, or gather up a horde. You might want to go up into the horde base then and start dealing with that. It's totally optional. I've got offshoots here. I am working on a, a ramp, which will get our vehicles in and out of. And you can go off in other directions as well and spend the night down here safe, mining away and just enjoying the time at night, really. So I hope this little guide tutorial based video here before the horde itself is giving some of you new players a good idea on, on what to build first, you know. And the good thing about it, again, is it's very expandable. You can take it in all directions and you can have real good fun with it i believe it's quite a reliable base especially for um the first couple of horde nights anyway i'm going to keep expanding on it myself and i'm going to keep uh building upon it and making it stronger and, and see how far this base can take us how many horde nights we can get through it the next clip that is going to follow will be the start of horde night i hope it's going to be a good one i'm sure it will be so yeah let's get this party started <laughs>
All right, guys. I think that was pretty awesome. There's quite a lot of them today. I did up the amount that was going to be turning up. So uh, that was pretty cool, man. I enjoyed that. It was really, really fun. So with this mining helmet, we're going to be able to go out and loot at night now. We can do some real scary night missions, things like that. Um, it's not as good armor. We know that. But it does come with the light, and that is the main thing. Maybe um, for Horde Knights and stuff, we could keep our scrap helmet. But for... Well, obviously mining and going out and about when we want to do some night quests and things like that. I think it will be a good idea to take our mining helmet with us. As you can see, we have our spotlight now. So that's going to be really, really cool. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we did level up as well. So while we're on camera here, let's have a little look what we can do. I want to put another one into strength. Keep going with that. And let's go into mother mode. Considering we're always getting bits and bobs from the uh, from nature. So yeah, the base really did hold up really well, I think, and it's going to continue to do so now throughout. Um, it, um, I wonder what day it's going to get to before it really starts challenging us, uh, but we're going to keep up with the upgrading. But again, if you're if you're new to this channel and you haven't seen my base yet, I do recommend it as a starting horde base. It really didn't take me long to make, and it is a lot of fun. Very, very easy maintenance, very easy to do. Great starter horde base, in my opinion. Haven't seen any more here. No, all good, all clear. Um, we are going to continue upgrading this base. We're going to upgrade the wood next. Ready for those cop zombies because they will just tear through all this. And upgrade all of that. We're going to start adding in maybe some power, some electric, some electric wire, um, barbed wire. Just some bits and bobs to slow them down. Yeah, we're going to really expand on it. So... I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, so take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.